there guys, my name is Coaster Child Born, but built for Theme Park News. And welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we're going to be talking about Jada Park. Now this is a park in Lower Saxony, Germany. It's traditionally known as one of the smaller, more family kid friendly parks. Uh, however, I wanted to discuss with you guys their project for this year. And it's their new farm area, their newly refurbished farm area. So we're going to talk to you about the history of the park since you are new to these this, this park so this is a this is a new part for the channel and uh yeah this is going to be an interesting video so please like the video if you've loved this please comment your thoughts down below on this because i think it's a very underrated little area please subscribe to the channel for more theme park news from updates reviews vlogs when we can get out to the parks uh, and click the notification bell so you never miss a video please share with your friends your family and on social media we've got our child chat series as well so that is a great we're going to try and uh, get some more people into that interview series and make sure guys you also send your video suggestions down below your shout outs down below and also your questions for the subscriber q a for when we celebrate 2000 subscribers use the hashtag question before or after your question and for now guys let's get into another video so for those of you who need a little reminder here is the his a little bit of history on Jada Park in Germany for those of you who need uh, some history on this brand new part of the channel so Jada Park located in Jadeburg Lower Saxony Germany has been operating since 1950 in 1996, the park opened their first roller coaster known as Holz Worm Achterbahn, which translates in German to Wood Worm Roller Coaster. It's a medium sized Ziera Tivoli, so for those of you who need a, a bit of a reminder as to what that's like, basically you look at uh, the Caterpillar Coaster at Paltons Park, which of course used to be known as uh, Stinger, uh, Draco at Wallaby Holland, uh, you've also got SOS Numenbois at Park Asterix. Um, you've got other great coasters, you've got Tivoli Coaster at Toy Kingdom, uh, Ladybird at Lightwater Valley in Ripon, North Yorkshire, Circus Expressen, uh, which was removed in 2008 from Leesburg, of course that's now um, the Wild Teacher Akban at Mondo Verde in Limburg, Holland. Uh, and basically, yeah, this has got a length of 652.9 feet, a height of 19.7 feet, a speed of 19.9 miles per hour with a capacity of 1,000 riders per hour. So that was opened in 1996. However, however, uh, 18 years after that opened, in 2014, uh, the park opened Siphon Kiste, which is a Gerstler kiddie racer coaster. Uh, now, Siphon Kiste is German for soapbox. Uh, it is a kid's coaster. Uh, now, RCDB describes the park as having a bit of an identity crisis. As you go through the park, four different names can be found. Jada Park, Tier und Freizeit Park Jadeberg, Jadeberger Zoo, and Jadeberger Tier und Freizeit Park. So, it's got a bit of a difference in names. Uh, so, that's the couple of coasters and a bit of history on how Jadeberg opened. And, of course, this park is a very underrated family-friendly park. So that is a little bit of history on Jada Park. So it's not the biggest park in Germany, like I said right at the start, but I think it's got a very um, promising family-friendly future. I think that it's a good, it's a nice, it's a good, nice-looking family park, um, and it's got even better because they've introduced this brand new farm-themed area, this refurbished farm-themed area, uh, which we're going to talk to you all about right now. So this is opening in 2020. This is going to be opening this year, and uh, we're going to talk you through what's been happening at the park. So. Basically, according to an article by European news source Parker Lebnis, which I really recommend uh, looking at because they're brilliant, uh, Off Dem Baunhof will be the new experience. The new park area, including redesigned rides from the existing inventory and a new freefall attraction. So behind the new farm area in the Jada Park lies a year of planning and construction. The main attraction and eye catcher on the on the farm, in quotes, on the farm, is the new freefall tower in the Jada Park with a fall height of 10 meters. Now the Animal and Leisure Park in Jada Berg uh, says according to the theme, it shows up the design of a giant maypole. Uh, now also new is the Pig Rondelle, which is a children's ride. Uh, it's like a, a pork pig themed slow moving carousel kind of ride uh, just a little children's ride uh, and it moves them up and down so it's kind of like a mini bounce around ride um, also it's also about existing attractions being refurbished for this new area so uh, the Marianne Kaferbahn which is like a little 
Ladybird Twister Ride and Kindera Sign Barn, as well as the Electrical Horse Ride as well. They were integrated into the facility, so they went through a bit of a refurbishment to make it look all nice and fresh. In addition, a visit to the animals from the farm can be made in the, in the electronic theatre next door, and the entire area is round off by a newly created hop garden. So basically, the farm in the Jada Park was realised with an investment of €650,000, uh, and according to the operators, with considerable personal contribution of the park's employees in the area of technology and handicrafts. And this redesigned area follows the opening of Yellowstone Water Company last year, which is a brand new uh, water world area. So this was like uh, different slides and cannons. It was just like a whole splash fun area uh, that was opened back in 2019. So... There we go, so that's just a little bit of details from this news article on the farm, on quotations on the farm, uh, which seems to be the translation of the name, uh, Off Dem Baumkorp, I think it was. Uh, I'm, very po I'm very poor at my German pronunciation, but I think it translates to on the farm. Um, so what do I think about this? Now, you're probably thinking, why am I covering this? It's so great to cover these small European parks. Uh, obviously, we covered... Um, Ravensburger Spielland on their Caterbug themed children's ride, apart, uh, yeah, themed to the board game Caterbug. Um, we did an update on that kind of magic carpet style ride, and it was nice covering those parks. It was nice covering these small European parks, and this is another example. And 650,000 euros is not a bad investment, you know, for the price tag you're getting, it's not a bad investment, you know, redesigning uh, current attractions, bringing in a new family drop tower. Um, with the electronic theatre, with the farm animals, uh, and of course, you know, this comes the year after you introduce this brand new water world for 2019, this Yellowstone Water Company uh, water world section for 2019. So, I think that the park, and uh, you've seen some pictures on your screen, of course, the, park, the, fi the pictures are officially from Jada Park, so big shout out to you guys. Uh, you do an incredible job with your park, you've done an incredible job with this area, as well as last year's new area, Yellowstone Water Company. And um, yeah, I'm. I to be fair, I think this is a very underrated kids section. I think that th this is the reason why I covered this specific new attraction in this new area because it's very underrated and it's a very good area for the kids and for the families. Uh, the family drop tower looks fantastic. The pig carousel, known as the pig rondelle, uh, which I'm guessing I'm guessing rondelle is German for carousel or roundabout. Um, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I could be right if I am. Kaching. Uh, <laughs> but the pig rondelle Dell looks very good as well. I love the the mud details on the pigs, and you know I like how it's all nicely designed. And it's in a, a nice shaded hut. Um, same with the Ladybird spin ride. Um, something Kleiserstein, something like that. I can't remember now, um, but it looks very nice um, in the shaded area. Uh, so I think they've done a really good job with this area, and I think that Jada Park could do some really cool stuff in the future with their family attractions and with some brand new kids rides. And I think that um, this new area just really integrates the theme of a farmyard very, very well. Uh, so, big shout out to the people at Jada Park. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update from Jada Park in Germany, Lower Saxony, Germany. It, like I said, it's great covering these small European parks. So, thank you very much. My name is Coast Child. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep loving the coast life. And I'll see you guys in another update very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. <laughs>